Hello, hello, world. I'm about to go live again. I'm on a roll, right? <laughs> if, if you watched my live last night, that was so fun. Thank you for those of you guys who watched, who participated. It was just, that was the most fun I've ever had in a live before. <laughs> it was just a silly time and I loved it. It was so fun. <clears throat> Good morning, by the way. Thank God it's Monday. Yeah. I'm about to go live with Brit, the five star chick. Such a cool, such a cool, cool female. So cool, so awesome. You guys are gonna immediately fall in love with her. Just one of those people that you're just like, it's just so genuinely her. You're like, I, how can I be more like you? <laughs> so I was gonna wait for her to add on. Did anyone read these books as a kid? The the American Girl series. Did anyone read these? <laughs> I need to. I have so many books. I need to drop off at a. What is it called? Like a. I was gonna. God, it's it's early, y'all. I just got done meditating, so I'm still a little lightheaded. So give me a second to get my thoughts together. Let me find this girl. Oh. Hey. <laughs> How are you doing? <laughs> I am. I, I just got done meditating, so I'm still a little lightheaded, but I'm here. I'm present. Okay. <laughs> I, don't, I don't think about, like, how you got washed up. Like, I just had to do my makeup. <laughs> you look great, though. I mean, you always look great, though. Thank you. I just do it real quick. You know, I just do the lashes, and that's it. <laughs> Chef Yaku, you're amazing. Hey, Kendall. Okay, so please introduce yourself to our everyone. Okay, so I'm Brittany, or my Instagram, Britt the Five Star Chick, same as YouTube. Um, yeah, I do um, like some positive YouTube videos. Um, I do a Hills dance class, which I know you've been trying to get into. It's rough. It is. <laughs> it is. It's not. Is I haven't I haven't, first of all I hardly ever wear heels, but then like I haven't danced in heels in like years plural. So yeah. like they they taught the choreography and I was like oh this is easy like I can do this and then when I put the heels on I was like oh we we gonna we gonna, we gonna need some time <laughs> so start start with the sneakers first because that's what I did and then like after like a few months I started wearing the heels and I'm like okay I, I think I can do this but so so what what got you started doing YouTube um basically like I had um a lot of mental health issues growing up which I still do but um I feel like when I looked up videos on YouTube there wasn't much that would help so i decided to just post videos that i think would help people especially like during like a situation like i had severe ocd and anxiety and there wasn't much videos about like ocd so i just decided to just start posting can you can you elaborate about if, if you if you feel comfortable feel yeah. comfortable talking about it elaborate about the ocd because i feel like a lot of people use that like as a joke like oh yeah. i'm ocd it's like it's it's pretty serious yeah, so um, there was actually a day um, I woke up and all of a sudden like that, I had OCD symptoms with like words repeating in my head and it wouldn't stop. And it was to the point where it was making me like embarrassed and like I would skip school. And um, I went to the doctors and they said I had, um, it's called pandas and you get it from having strep throat. So I had that, I mean, I still have it, but um, they give you medicine and if you catch it in time they can treat it with like pleural fusions but i didn't catch it in time so oh my yeah. god i'm serious wow yeah so it was it was pretty rough and um it's definitely like debilitating like going into social situations and stuff it's hard but wow. like i think as you like grow and you like get older you learn to like cope with it and make mm -hmm. it become a part of you you yeah. know and but so you're but you're also a writer though as well um yeah i i do i tried to write like a few poems you know so like um but i try it and like whatever comes to my head like i'll just write it down and go with it but it's like it has to come to me like i can't just write it like it will come to me mm -hmm. but you're really good though yeah, I, I I like writing. It's fun. I just have to be in like the moment. But I do I love like doing music too. Anything like therapeutic, it like helps. And is this something that that you you picked up yourself or is it something that a doctor told you to, to try or um 
it's it's something I picked up myself because I used to go to therapy and they would you know give you the books and try to like have you write and stuff but I just kind of grew to um deal with everything myself because there's no one that's going to tell you like how to deal with your own you know symptoms everybody's different so it's like you can't go by a rule book like oh do this do this do this like it doesn't work like that you know Mm -hmm. Ain't that the truth? <laughs> <laughs> Ain't that the truth? I I've been um I've been on this whole trip of like okay like I need to help myself get over this hump, and so like I I obviously listen to a lot of most of motivational videos like mm. I probably listen to all of them all of them on the internet, and some of them I just get so frustrated because it's like you're not telling me exactly what to do. Yeah, like I yeah. feel nice, but then when I turn the video off, I'm I'm still sad. I'm still down. You yeah. know. It's like they don't give you that extra push to like, all right, what do I do now? Like, I just finished, but I'm still sitting here, like, in this position. Yeah. I heard, um, I don't know if you've ever tried it, but they say, um, like, life coaches and, like, groups help. hmm I've never done it, but I feel like that might be, like, helpful. You know, go to, like, a group session or go to, like, a life coach. True. That's true. Yeah. How how are things on your side of of the world with whatever state that you're in with the coronavirus? Um, my eyelash keeps falling off. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I hate um, when that happens. <laughs> so basically, um, everything's kind of back to normal. Um, I used to work at like a hookah lounge, but um, I stopped because I'm in school right now. Um, but I'm back at work, going back to school on campus next week. So oh wow, yeah. So it's okay. a little scary, like, with everything going on. Like, they're going to do temperature checks and everything. Um, but they how about you? Sick? How is – where you live? Oh, it's, it's, it's terrible. <laughs> where it's where terrible. are you? Though? I'm in Florida. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I, like, I saw the news. I'm like, oh. So what is everybody – are you guys, like, in phase one still or – I don't, I don't know, but like literally, it, no one cares though. It's yeah. like everyone's just acting like the Nothing. beaches are full capacity. They just opened Disney the other day. Yeah, I heard yeah. about that. So, but everybody's still doing what they normally would do. Basically, basically, and just I like half, like, half wearing masks. I think when you try to like keep people cooped up for so long, they're like, you know, what, we'll rather just risk it, and whatever happens, happens. You know. Mm-hmm. It's the summertime. I know nobody wants to be in the house. <laughs> basically. Basically. What was I going to ask you? Um, so are they going to keep the classrooms at 50% capacity still, though? Yeah. So, basically, any wow. – because uh, I do, um, tech, like, <laughs> it's like audio and me- digital media. So, anything that has to be on campus will be on campus for six hours a day, and then you go straight home. You don't stay and wander around. They want you go- to go home. True. That, that's going to cut down a lot of campus activities. Yeah, no dorms, no food, no nothing. What? Yeah. So all what the kids that doing? live out of state in New York, they can't come back. What? Oh, and I would be paying, Yep. And they're paying all their money because the school's like 30000 you know, for associates. So, yeah, they're pretty, everyone's pretty upset about it. I'd be so pissed. I'd be, so, oh, my God. Oh man, I can't imagine. What um, what made you um what made you start your um your videos? Because I I've been watching you since I followed you, and I was always curious like what made you you know start posting <laughs> them. So um I started because of a breakup. <laughs> mm-hmm. Um, it 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 was like a very slow like dissolving relationship, and then it happened so abruptly, right? Yeah, and um. A lot of people would say, like, oh, write down how you're feeling, write down how you're feeling, but I hate to, I hate writing. Yeah. <laughs> people will send me stuff, they're like, you should re- journal this, and I'm like, okay, but I hardly ever do it. Like, yeah. <laughs> I don't know, I just, I just hate writing, so I was, I was just like, I'm just gonna pick up a camera and just talk to myself. Yeah. And I do that every day for, like, two or three months, and then, like, I took up too much space in my phone, and for some reason, I just didn't want to delete the videos. Yeah. I just didn't want to. So I, I uploaded it on YouTube, all of mm-hmm. them. And it, but I, I left them on private, though. I didn't, yeah. like, make them public. And then one drunken night, um, after the 4th of July, I just lost my job. And I was like, screw it. I'm just going to post it. Yeah. And I did. And people were receptive. And I was like, maybe I should keep doing this. Yeah. Because you know what? Even though you feel like you may be, like, 
you feel some type of way about posting it, it's going to eventually help somebody out there. Somebody who doesn't want to hear the script, YouTubers, you know, somebody who wants to see somebody just real going through, like, because I watch your videos and everything is so, like, real, whether you're emotional, like, you're not afraid to just be you. And that really, like, resonates with, like, me and a lot of people because it's so real. I, I, I appreciate that. Yeah. Really, really and good. I just like want to tell you, like, keep going, like, don't stop, like, keep posting all the videos, keep talking, because like it really does help. And like, obviously, you reach me, like, I, like, I never knew you, like, you reach a lot of people. So, thank, thank you, Britt. That makes you feel. It makes it feel good. <laughs> yeah, it's like it's like kind of being like a therapist for like for yourself, you know, like when you talk it out, yeah. you're like, it's like you're talking to yourself. Yeah, exactly. But, um, was it awkward at first? Because, like, I know for me, it's awkward, like, talking to the camera sometimes. Like, um, it, was it awkward for you at first? Not not at all, actually. No, <laughs> no I, I, get, I get people all the time. They're, they, they literally say verbatim, I could never do what you do. And I'm like, I mean, it's just like taking a selfie, but you're just talking to yourself. <laughs> yeah. I guess if you put it that way, I guess it could be easier. Um, I think it's easier, like, when I flip my camera and I, like, can see myself. So I know I'm not just, like, talking to a lens. So that's why yeah, I, like, flip, yeah. I flip the camera. <laughs> <laughs> so, but, but you also do a lot of makeup tutorial videos, especially on TikTok. Girl, you're so huge on TikTok. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah I, followers. <laughs> I was, like, I was trying one day. I'm like, you know what? Let me try to do this makeup. Because I like the Fenty Beauty. I just got the Fenty Beauty Foundation. And the highlight, you love it, don't you? I love it. I love the highlight. Do you have Do you have the um the highlighter? The yeah. I don't have the highlighter. I I can't I can't make myself spend that much money on highlighter. I know. Yes. Someone got it for me for a gift, but I would never have bought it if I. No. I need better yeah. time. <laughs> I'm like an elf in NYX kind of girl. Like I'll go yeah. to the drugstore before I do that. So, so, so yeah. let's, let's talk about let's talk about skincare because I hardly ever get to do that. Yeah, I, I don't think I've ever done that on a live before with a girl. Yeah, <laughs> so, so, about, so so what it tell us about your skincare routine? Um, so I work at a salon and they sell um eminence and it's all organic like there's no parabens nothing in it. So I had really bad acne like all over my face like two years mm -hmm. ago. And I used um, the Eminence products, and um, it went away. Like, within a month, everything was cleared up. It, like, I, it worked. Like, I always would go to drugstores and buy stuff, but yeah. they said that there's something in, like, the drugstore products that makes it so, like, you keep breaking out. But I, so that's why I just, I was like, you know what? I'm going to spend the money. I'm going to spend the 30 bucks on the, the hydrator, on the clear skin thing, and it just, it worked. <laughs> No, it's not bad. No, what do you, what do you use? So I used to use this um this three step system <clears throat> yeah. from Sephora, and it okay. was working really really well. Like I was yeah. I was hardly ever breaking out except for like that time of the month. Um, yeah. But then um financial stuff happened, so I stopped yeah. using it. So I was just using like just drugstore stuff, mm -hmm. and then with this, my most recent breakup. Um, my skin has been was breaking out so badly and I was yeah. just picking at my skin. And so I went to the back to Sephora when they opened up and bought it, but then like it got worse. And I was just like, God, what's happening? But I just um I just invested in this um natural organic soap. Okay. It's up turmeric. And turmeric. Oh, turmeric, okay. Yeah, yeah, I, I never knew anything about turmeric. And I feel like my skin is glowing. I haven't had the urgency to pick up my skin. My yeah. dark spots are still there, but they're slowly fading away. And this is only two weeks. Oh, my God. I Because I can see the glow. Like, I can see it. Stop it. Stop it. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> Stop it. Well, that's crazy. So is it like a bar, like a turmeric bar? It's just a bar. And I don't, I don't, I only use a hydrator or, um, or cleanser no not cleanser what's the word i'm looking for uh moisturizer i only use a moisturizer if i'm going outside or if i'm putting okay. on makeup no, i just don't touch my skin okay yeah i love it it looks good though so i Thank think you. like once you go back to like a product that you used before sometimes it just doesn't like it doesn't react the same it didn't so, like it did not and now does the bar like um does it come with like a holder that you can put it in or is it mm -hmm. like um Oh, that's yeah. awesome. I yeah. probably got to try what that. Do you, 
what what uh foundations do you use um uh, what you call it highlighters etc cetera, etc cetera. so um for the fenty i have it right next to me um the fenty beauty i use it's just um <clears throat> it's just like a tube and you just like squeeze it out which i like because it like it doesn't get like your fingers dirty and i use like a beauty blender and then the highlight is um it's called uh, mean money and H hustler baby by Fenty Beauty. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> but I, saw, I saw the trophy wave. You know the trophy wave, how it's like gold? I yeah. wanted to try that, but I'm, I'm not bold enough, I don't think, to do it. Because I don't wear makeup so heavy that I think mm -hmm. it would. I'm just more like natural. Like, let it, you know. Yeah, exactly. And I, I feel like for like that kind of stuff, like you have to be like going to like an event or something yeah. like that, to a party, like yeah. not for like everyday life. Yeah. What do you use? On your face. I, I've used the, the the Fenty foundation for the past like two or three years. I I swear by it. Yeah. It's so it's so healthy for your skin. It doesn't feel heavy or anything like no. that. And I, I also I, use the, sorry. Go ahead. Sometimes I think it feels like chalky a little bit. It does. Uh, it does. Yeah, but I think that's a foundation thing. Any anyway. Yeah. yeah. Um, I also use um her her setting powder. Okay. The, what's it called? Well, <laughs> the, the butter, I use the butter, okay. and then the, oh my god, what is that eye, under eye cream called? Um, oh but you, you like, you, it's, a, it's just the under eye cream from Fenty? I don't use that, I don't use Fenty, oh. I just use, like, something from, like, Ulta, it was, like, $10. Oh, shit, okay. But, like, I, I like using, like, very light underneath my eyes, so, like, it has, yeah. like, that nice glow yeah, yeah. <laughs> do you do the, like the baking i don't know people like bake they put like the powder I look, like crazy I, yeah. but I'm, but I'm very oily though i'm yeah. very oily. like my makeup needs to last at least 15 hours yeah because <laughs> i notice now like in the summer like it will just it just melts off like by the time i get home my skin it's all like red like everything's gone did you touch up throughout the day i don't i don't Me. even touch it like i'll put it on once and then that's it i don't touch it yeah, but I think I, I just. I feel like when you touch up throughout the day, like it's like you're just touching up your oils. You're touching up the the bacteria on your skin, and like it yeah. makes you feel gross. Well, they have like the blotting. I used to use them, but I felt like my skin was turning dry. But I learned this really, really cool thing when I um when I was working in theme parks. Mm -hmm. So it might sound a little gross. <laughs> so you know, you know the toilet light liners in um in public restrooms. Yeah, yeah. Use that to blot your face. Oh shit! Okay, it is like yeah. the same material though. It is as the blot. It is. It is. So, yeah. You used to work at a theme park. Mm hmm. W which one? All of them. Oh, <laughs> shit. I so how was it? Like I always wondered, like people who worked there, like was it easy to like you know keep yourself like happy and? No, I, I hated it. The really? Disney was the worst. The worst, and that, and that was my dream job. I came right out of college, got hired at Disney, and I was like, yes, I made it. And then yeah. I was like, this is miserable. <laughs> what, what was it that made it miserable? Was it like the employees or? Surprisingly that, yeah. The other people working there were so miserable. They were so miserable, so negative. And it was just like, well, this is supposed to be the happiest place on earth. Yeah. And, <laughs> and you're like ruining it. <laughs> Yeah! Oh my god. Oh, wow. Because I, I would have never thought that. I would have thought, like, Disney would have been, like, the best job. Like, it looks, like, so fun. But you're right. Like, when people bring negative energy, it really ruins it for, for yourself. The, the worst is seeing, like, the costume, the, the other costume characters crying before they, they go on stage. Oh my god. Yeah! It's so I, real. Yeah, I do. I like when I go. I I only been like twice, but when I go, everybody seems so happy. Like everyone seems so into their job. But I guess like if it's like forced upon you, and then you know it makes you not wanna. Cause not everybody's happy every day. They're not. They're not. But, but I was like, how many also, so as you go to theme parks, guys, be nice to them because we're we're all depressed. <laughs> we yes. all need to. <laughs> <laughs> when they count for the ride to go, just be nice. <laughs> no, <laughs> don't say nothing. <laughs> so, so, do you have okay. what? What are your plans for today? What is your like your routine? Um, so I I wake up and I, I meditate heavily, heavily mm. for like twenty minutes, 
and then um and then um and then I, I vlog yeah for my video for the day or for the week and then I I work eight hours a day from home so what do you, what do you do from home I sell solar panels oh okay that's awesome at least you know be home <laughs> in your own space like that's <laughs> awesome so you up so when you do YouTube you um record for the whole week and then you go in and edit it and post like every day or every I, other day. I um I record daily. Sometimes I don't use that video that day because I'm yeah. like it doesn't it doesn't feel right. Yeah. So like I'll just like I, I have so many videos. <laughs> you have no because like, because I I I mean as as you saw I don't know if you've noticed but like I've I've been absent for a year but I was yeah. still recording. Like, I think I messaged you because I was like, "Hey, like I was wondering about you because I haven't seen any, like any posts." Yeah, I was I was so fixated on this guy. He was he was everything to me, and um, but I would still record every day because like we would have fights and like I'd be like, "Okay, let me not take my anger on him. Let me like analyze how how I'm feeling." And I was <laughs> actually like I think last week looking through the old videos and I was like, "Why did I stay with him?" Like. Yeah there's too many of these like me crying at the camera me being frustrated me yelling at the camera and I'm like why did I stay what do you think it was that made you like attracted to them were they like were they just straight up assholes no he wasn't an asshole at no. all no he um he was just fun yeah he was so much fun yeah. Like, like kind of like your best friend. Like, you would do everything together. Yeah. Sometimes, like, I feel like we have people come into our lives, like, for moments. And they'll show us, like, good things. But I was, at, like, I was in a relationship for eight years. And I thought, like, I was going to be with him forever. But I was just comfortable. I wasn't really in love. Like, you know, I, I just, like, liked him and, like, the thought of him. But finally, like, I found somebody that I knew. I knew it was right. Like, I felt. Yeah, it was my young. We met at the hookah lounge, like, where I worked at the club. And it was, like, for both of us. Like, you know, my dad passed. And, he, like, it's weird. But he reminded me of, like, my dad. It reminded me of somebody that my dad would have sent. And for both of us, like, his, his girlfriend passed the same month my dad passed of oh that year. God. So it was like when we saw each other, it was just like tunnel vision, like nothing else existed. It was just us. Like, so, you know, we started talking and hanging out and um, I just felt it was right. Like I wasn't in, in, in love with my old situation. Like I was just settling. And so I was like, you know what? I'm going to do it. And I've never been happier, like ever. Aww. Like he's a good guy. And, you know, it takes a lot because you know how family is sometimes how they're not accepting and it's like, you just yeah. want your family to be like, just accept that I'm happy. Like, that's all I want. Mm -hmm. So it was hard at first because, you know, he's older than me. So my family wasn't so accepting. But my mom came around and she's like, as long as you're happy, then I'm happy. And as long as yeah. you treat you right. So, yeah. And I was in the hospital, like, for, I don't know, it was about a month. And he was right by my side. Like, even when I got out, he was taking care of me, like, giving me my medicine, like, for everything. Like, I was just, like, so in shock. That's so awesome. I'm so happy for you. I know. Because, like, like, we've known each other for, like, two years. Yeah. And I remember when you first started doing your videos. And I, I just feel like you don't look the same anymore because your energy is so different. Yeah. Like, it's I feel like, like you're a, a lot more confident. Like, you, you like, posting your dance videos. I'm, like, you freestyling. And I was, like, oh, my God. Like, <laughs> like you know, there's something about, there's something about vlogging that works. Yeah. Like, it works. It does. I don't know. I don't know what, what, I don't know what it is. It's, like, I think when you, like, go through your journey, like, if you look back from when you first posted, you can see, like, all the things that, like, all the hurt, all the happiness really changes you as a person. And, like, I, you can look back at yourself and be, like, wow, like, I look like that. Like, I look so stressed out. Like, I wasn't happy. Mm -hmm. And, like, now it's, like, you know what? You just got to, like, do what makes you happy. Like, if you don't like a job, just quit. Like, they're always going to find something that's better for you. Like, that's what I'm starting to learn, like, not to care what people think, 
not not to do things that make me unhappy. Yeah. Yeah. You know? <laughs> Even if you try to fake it, like a lot of that, like the dance at first, I faked it. Like I wasn't confident because I was always looking at all the other girls like, oh my God, they're so good. Like I would just fake it. And then if you fake it for so long, it just becomes like a part of you. Like you actually feel it. Like it's so weird. That's so crazy. So so you're going to school for for audio and design? Yeah, like motion graphics. So freaking cool. So 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 what's what's the what's the big dream dream give me the most ridiculous dream job? The ridiculous dream job probably um I wanna work in the studio. Like I wanna do um like work with producers and like learn how to produce a song, like the beat. And for as far as like the digital media side, I wanna like work for myself doing like motion graphics. Like you know how YouTubers have intros? Like I wanna be mm-hmm. able to do those for them. I want to I want to be able to just do like all different commercials and cuz like I was going to go to school to be a therapist mm-hmm. believe it or not cuz I felt like I could help people who had like mental disabilities but I'm like that's what like I have the phone for it like that's what I have my camera for I don't need somebody to teach me what to say when I can just look at the phone and talk to them you know I- that's so I think I think that's like the coolest thing because I was looking at your you made a video about um the the benefits of hookah. Yeah. That yep. was I was like, you made that? Yeah. The whole thing. It was it took two weeks to make. <laughs> two weeks? Yeah. You have like I had over like almost two hundred keyframes and they're just parts and it just everything from the voiceover to the finding the graphics because I I don't do illustrating. So I had to look up online graphics to use, and it's just a lot of work. It's a lot of work. It my, is. My niece, um, my niece is a is an artist, visual artist. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. She's so she's so sick. She's so sick. It's it's crazy. Um, she doesn't get that from anyone in our family. She's she. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but um, she made a um, she made a cartoon, and I asked her how long did it take. She's like, oh, just like a couple of months. And I was like, what? I don't got that kind of time. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, unless you're at a job and you're getting paid every day for it, but other than that, it's just too much. Like, it's a lot. I, I can't imagine, like, do you, do you guys talk about video games? Uh, do they teach you about that as well? No. Well, they do, but that's not in my program. So they have okay. a whole separate program for people, like, in video games, which is really cool because it's, like, interesting to learn, you know? Yeah. But wh- where do you see yourself, like, from, like, a year from now? Like, what, what, are, your, what are your goals? I don't know a year from now. Um... Other than hopefully still breathing, <laughs> yes. well, I, know, I know the I know the big big goal is to um, ultimately have my own TV show. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, and yeah, and just doing what I'm doing now, but like on like a on a bigger scale. Like yeah. I would love to have my own red table talk. I would love to have my yeah. own open network. You know, I would I would love to have my own network t- television series or something. Yeah. you know. The how I don't know, but that's the that's the big big goal. <laughs> yeah, I, can, I can picture you like I can picture you having you know the Jada Smith how they have like the red table talk like you're so welcoming and so like um like very informative and you just so I don't know it's just a presence that you have and I feel like that would be something that you'd be really good at. Thank you. You're so you're so good for my self esteem. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I feel like we should go live more often. <laughs> <laughs> okay do you have any um final words to um to 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 anyone just like what any any kind of anything that you want to say any final words um so some final words i would say is just you know do things that make you happy you know um life's so short like if you're not happy with a job or a situation god's gonna make a way for something better to come and you know anyone who has like mental health issues know that there's help out there especially like on YouTube, like, look at us, like we post videos, like, just always know that there's somebody for you. And not everybody's scripted. There's people like us who do raw footage that go through everyday shit. Mm. No, say that again. (laughs) Any, any (laughs) any, Any advice you would give? My, I know I have some followers that just joined in. Hello. Um, (laughs) 
I would, I, I definitely going to piggyback and say, definitely don't be stuck in situations where you're unhappy. And also just don't, don't feel a need to allow your mental health issues to stop you from doing things. Cause I think a lot of people use it as an ex and forgive me for, for bad language, but I think some people use it as an excuse. They use it as, yeah. as a crutch and like, yeah. Oh, I, I can't do this cause I'm feeling this way or this way. Just do it. Yeah. Do it. Do it sad. Do it angry. Do it miserable. Mm -hmm. Just follow through it. Cause it's just going to feel so much better. The fact that you, and just also a huge thing, especially this past year that I realized is fix your circle. Because yeah. usually sometimes it's not you. Yeah. The majority of the time that you're you are not the problem. It's the people who you you choose to be around. Yeah. And I know that's that, so true. <laughs> I'm I'm too good at now the Sam Smith song. I'm too too good at too, goodbyes. I'm very <laughs> good at cutting people off if I feel like you're a bad influence on me. Yeah. And it's I'm, already bad, I'm already a bad influence on myself. I don't need you affecting my my mental. Yeah. So really I feel like I feel like that would be a topic that we should do, like, friendships and stuff, because I feel like there's so many stories that, like, we could talk there's about. A there's a lot of stories. And I, I feel like sometimes we feel a need to be around that person because we feel we feel bad for them. But it's yeah. like, that's not our job. We're no one's parents. We're, right. we're no one's. We're no one's life coach. Like, yeah. we're supposed to be friends. We're supposed to use each other as an escape. And yeah. if you are dragging me down... I have big dreams. I have big goals and I can't, I can't drag you along with me. And yeah. I'm sorry, but not sorry. Yeah. You kind of need someone at the same energy level as you. And there's not a lot of people who have the same, you know how it's like when you find friends, you're like, damn, like they're not like me. Like, I feel like I'm different. It's like, they're on a whole different en energy level. So that's why I feel like it's hard for me to have friends. Cause you know, everyone's all into the party and this and that, but they really don't have like a soul, like how, you know, like how we are connecting wow that's just what i've noticed like i could never have a real like a a friend and i was like hey, what's wrong with me like what what is it that i'm doing wrong like yeah it, it, because the way i look like, like what is it and i just began to realize that maybe it's not me you know maybe do, you, do, you find, do you find that you have a large friend circle nah me neither no i you know what it's easy for me to have boyfriends and be in a relationship, but it's hard for me to have a friendship. And I don't know exactly why that is. And I don't know if it is because of me, you know, maybe it's just the people that I'm around. And, and I'm going to for, forgive me for maybe putting words in your mouth, but also I was working in, in restaurants and bars the past yeah. five years of my life. And yeah. I realized that and I was because I've been slowly trying to drink less and less. It's hard during the quarantine. It's hard, y'all, during the quarantine. <laughs> <laughs> I've been trying to drink less and less. And she was saying how when you and your friends go out and celebrate, is there always alcohol involved? And I was like, yeah. Yeah. And I was like, are we only friends because we're just drinking partners? Yeah. And I don't want, I don't want drinking partners anymore. Yeah. <laughs> you want somebody who can come over, relax, like do YouTube and just you know, hang out, like, that's, yeah, I noticed, like, a lot of people only will, like, ask, like, when they want to go out to, like, a nightclub or do something, but, yeah. you know, and, you and alcohol is always, always there, yeah, alcohol or weed, either yeah. one of those, yeah. like, no, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. but I feel like we, sh that should be a discussion that, you know, we, we talk about, because I think it's, like, really interesting, yeah, especially people our age, you know, like, yeah. substance abuse is so real. It's fun, yeah. fun. It's fun, but it's like, yeah, that's all. We're going to do this again. <laughs> we're going to do this again. <laughs> <laughs> <We're Okay. out. laughs> so, so tell everyone where they can follow you, stalk you. Um, So, well, you can follow me on here, the Bread the Five Star Chick. You can follow me on YouTube where I post some videos, same as my Instagram name, and TikTok. <laughs> no, dude, you are, you are, well, also, also, you're, you're a cheater because you're, you're, <laughs> you're, you're an engineer, so you know how to use TikTok. I don't get it. <laughs> you see it. Girl, it's all in the effects. If you go at the bottom, just with you. <laughs> <laughs> but where can you have my followers follow you what's your youtube tell me your youtube name 
Um, so my, my YouTube channel is The Breakup Diaries. If you type it in, it's like, it's on the first page now. What, what? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> the Breakup Diaries. Or you can type in my name. It's on there as well. <laughs> I beat the algorithm. <laughs> Yay! Oh, that could be another video, how to beat the algorithm. Because, girl, I don't know. <laughs> um, or on here, The Aunt of Dragons. I have a Twitter, The Aunt of Dragons. Um, on Facebook, if you want. <laughs> um, Ashley Collins. <laughs> TikTok, The On of Dragons, I only got two videos on there, but yes. maybe hopefully those two videos will blow up. <laughs> yeah, you're right. <laughs> we'll have to work on keep posting on uh, TikTok. Yeah. It's addicting. I see why everybody is addicted to it. It is. It's, it's, so it's, fun. It's, fun. it's, it's really, I, I heard that um, it was the most popular app right now during the quarantine. Yep. And even it's though it's so like, what was it? Even though they might ban it, did you hear hear that? No. Why? Something about selling information, girl. Oh, just some super <laughs> shit. <laughs> did you used to you used to have like um a vine? Did you ever have a vine? I never, I never vined. No. I, I did you vine? The, yeah, they took the whole thing away and like all the videos. Like everybody lost all their videos. Yeah. I'd be livid. I know. I was like, I had so many like videos that like I just wanted to keep for myself, and they were all gone. <laughs> One day they just like took it off. Oh my god, <laughs> that 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 might happen to with TikTok. I know because they were abandoned in India. In India, in India, that was really hard. In <laughs> India. <laughs> India. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's make sure we save our videos to our phone in case I have right? them. <laughs> Upload them to YouTube, guys, because YouTube's not going anywhere. Yeah. <laughs> so it's true. Bad. Hi, well, Britt. This was this was such a this was such a treat. What a great way to start my morning. Thank you for this. Like, thank you so much for even like the idea of this. Like, I really want to do this again. Like, it really yeah. like it makes me feel really good. We're for sure gonna do this again because there's yeah. there's some. Um, I think we can get a lot deeper talking yeah. about some things all right girl be productive today you too. <laughs> i'll see you soon i'll talk to you later girl. bye